Now, I know what Colin's done here. He's, he's put these BMX bikes, which he's not told me about, on the end of my motorcycle uh, assignment here. And as I've said to the good people here at Manor Park, this isn't in my contract, but who doesn't love a rally burner? Look at this, the Tough Burner from 1983. Offered from a private collection, an original bike, as it is, there is no reserve on the 1983 Rally Tough Burner. Oh, here we go. Now, this is more my speed. 206, this one. It ain't a bicycle, baby. It's a chopper. 19. 19 what? Oh, it's a Mark 1. Right, we're not sure 19 what, but we know it's a Mark 1, so it's not got the warning on the seat about not taking a passenger. They presumably put that on the Mark 2 because back in the day, youths like me took somebody, never a girl, obviously not. No girls were stupid enough to get on back of one of these. Uh, they put a warning saying, don't take passengers. Of course, as every young man from that era, myself included, would remember, the danger with a bicycle like this was that you came adrift of the tackle and you caught yourself on the gear changer. The, there must be <laughs> a whole generation. I can't get off it now. <laughs> I love it. Does anything evoke the mid-70s better than a rally chopper? Is that stand working? That one is... Oh, what? Fifteen hundred to two grand. Wow! <laughs> for a Mark One. Mark Ones must be harder to find and more desirable. Uh, offer from a private collection. I'm sure that you, those of you who know about them will go, yeah, yeah, it'd be about fifteen hundred to two grand. But as somebody who had, as we move over to this one, which is a Mark Two, as somebody who had, get this, a Silver Jubilee Special Edition, I was. 12. It was silver with red and blue accents and it had a little plaque commemorating the silver jubilee of our late queen. Not this one, because this one is your standard Mark II in lovely chopper orange, offered from a private collection. It's got the warning here saying don't take passengers because presumably a few kids had sort of, you know, fallen foul to uh, having rides on the back of this and ended up in hospital. So they'd had to put that on it. I'm not going to try and ride it because it's estimated at between 800 and 1200 quid. So as they were tricky to ride at the time, and now I'm an, a mature gentleman. The funny thing is, get this, right? So we were kids. I was 12 when I had one of these. But look, it's an adult. Am I the size of a 12-year-old boy or is this an adult-sized bicycle? One of the two, I'm not sure. How did I ride one of these when I was 12? I was Diddy. Anyway, I did, and I loved it. Ah! Ah, help! <laughs> Don't damage your chopper! <laughs> How did we survive these things? We did. Right, let's move over here. 1982 Rally Ultra Burner. Again, oh, this one's no reserve. Right, so which one's this? Two, 201, this one. Rally Ultra Burner. Um, they're not really BMX bikes, are they? They're sort of our take on the American BMX bike, but they're not true BMXs. They're more, they're a bit more street. It says BMX, but is it a true BMX? You'd be able to tell me. Uh, 1982 Rally Ultra Burner, no reserve. Look at all this sort of anodized gold, gold stuff. Can you imagine looking at this in the Marsh, in the Grattan catalogue or the Marshall Ward catalogue? There'd be three well-thumbed sections, wouldn't there? Air rifles, ladies' lingerie, and bikes. <laughs> Look at that. It would have looked saucy, wouldn't it? Not as saucy as Miss Mary of Sweden in the lingerie section, but there you go. Right, uh, lot 204, this is... A super burner, not an ultra burner, a super burner. A little bit bigger, yeah. To me, that's more of a BMX bike than the other one. 
but what do I know? 1984, 1984, I was 20. I wasn't riding a BMX bike, I'll tell you that. Uh, I had an Alfa Romeo and a, what's it? Um, 1984, <laughs> I nearly said something I shouldn't. I just stopped myself at the last moment. Story of my life. 1984, Rally Super Burner, no reserve, part of a private collection, as is the Rally Chrome Burner. So, I like this one. Look at the retro styling on this one. It's got white wall tyres. How cool is that? No reserve. The 1983, my favourite, it's got a plastic saddle though. Oh, look at that hard plastic saddle. Oof, uncompromising that. Uh, part of a private collection, no reserve on the Rally Chrome Burner. And that, as my father would say, is a small onion, i.e. that shallot. See you at the sale at the weekend. I'm going home on this. Bye. Uh.